Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. I have my animal oracle cards here. We're going to look at <laughs> what you may be struggling with. So knowing your worth, what do you need to focus on? Seeing the big picture and energies coming in. We have be at home, which is um, being comfortable in your own skin. All right. Let's see. All right. So what you may be struggling with is knowing your worth. And it kind of makes sense where you're kind of seeing the big picture. What you have to look at is seeing the big picture is that when you're not really making choices or decisions for yourself that are benefiting yourself and that you deserve more and that you deserve better, that, you know, when you realize that, then you start to become comfortable with your own self and then you, you start building up that confidence within yourself because you're like, you know what, I deserve better. Like, I deserve a better relationship. I deserve a better situation. I deserve better things and that you're not cutting yourself short in situations. So let's get some tarot and look a little deeper with knowing your worth. Um, I feel like it's something that's been going on for a long time that you've been struggling with or there's, yeah, okay, so five, we have six of cups, we have five of pentacles and we have two of pentacles and then we have the infinity sign here which represents individual empowerment and everlasting um, love and so I feel like you're feeling for some reason, I feel like it's a friendship maybe that you've had for a long time or something that you've been do feeling that you've had for a long time and you're kind of feeling like you're on the on the outside with this card here with kind of the snow coming down and they're, you know, definitely um, struggling and kind of feeling on the outside and you're just feeling like things are off balance and you're just feeling like, But I almost feel like it's kind of realizing that are you making the choices that are best for yourself? Like, are you really doing things to set yourself up for success? And I just feel like you're making decisions that are kind of working against yourself. And that it's not, your choices aren't balanced in your favor or they're not giving you it could be a relationship where you feel like this other person is always taking um, or this other situation is, is always taking away from you and you're not really looking out for yourself. Sometimes we just kind of go with the flow with things just because we don't want to deal with, okay, you know, I'm going to have to confront this or I'm going to have to deal with this or I'm going to have to tolerate this. So I feel like I feel like it's just kind of understanding that you're not really putting yourself in situations where you're it's you're getting something from it or it's a relationship that's very draining or it's a relationship that's very one sided. Um, what do you need to look at is seeing the big picture is sometimes we need when we're, sometimes like when you're in the middle of something and you're dealing with something and it's almost like you have rose colored glasses on and you're not really able to see what's going on. And like you kind of have to step back and you have to step away and you have to remove yourself from the situation. Even if it's just sometimes if you just um, go for a drive or you or you go maybe hang out at a family or a friend's house or you just kind of do something. And if you feel like people are around you or telling you something and you're not really getting it and you're not really understanding it, but you're still feeling like in this energy that maybe it's time to step away and listen. Like, why are so many people telling me this and why are so many people kind of suggesting or saying something? And is that something that I need to recognize? And yeah, sometimes it's like we don't want to acknowledge. Yeah, I've ignored that or I knew that was going on and I chose to ignore it. And we don't want to admit our own faults, but it's why keep yourself in this energy if you're ignoring red flags we have um yeah like fill up your own cup we have ace of cups what do you need to focus on seeing the big picture um page of pentacles um starting something new 
And I also feel like it's loving yourself and doing things for yourself and looking out for yourself and seeing that because as I've said many times before in my readings is that we choose who we spend our time with, who we talk to, um, who we don't talk to, what we focus on, what we think about. And you're making those choices every day, every moment of every day of what it is that you want to do and how you want to deal with things. And maybe it's time to see the big picture and start filling up your own cup and doing those things that are making you feel good and that are making you feel like having your cup overflow. And I feel like it's headed in a new direction with this page of pentacles, pages are young, new energy. And it's like time to look at things from a new perspective and working towards things that make you happy and things that make you feel good. And, you know, things that, cause I just kind of feel like you're making choices that, that are working against yourself and aren't making you happy. And that's something that you just need to, sometimes we just need somebody to say like, what are you doing? Like, like it's time for you to open your eyes and kind of really see what's going on here and see the big picture and seeing how this is working against you and making you feel like this five of pentacles energy. Um, and that maybe you have, maybe, and that the reason why this is happening is for you to build your confidence up, right? Because we have the energies that come in that are coming in is is being comfortable in your own skin and saying yeah I can make those choices and I can I, I can look out for myself and I can do the right thing for myself and that I can um, do good things for me and I feel that yeah so we have the queen of cups we have the death card and then we have the justice. Do things for yourself, looking out for yourself. Like I feel like that's what this reading is about is making better choices for yourself. And sometimes we don't wanna admit that we've made mistakes or that we've gone down the wrong path. But I feel like with this energy coming in, it's, it's again like your emotions and your feelings, like you're feeling better. And there's something that you need to let go of and having that doubt within yourself. Um, a lot of times it's, it's those messages that we're playing in our head and we're saying, you know, oh, I don't deserve this or, you know, this isn't going to work out for me or this isn't going to happen for me. And you're already, you're setting yourself up for failure if that's the mindset that you have. But if you're saying I'm strong and I can work through this and I can push through this and I can make better choices for myself and, you know, starting from this point forward and not looking back on, you know, in the past because maybe you weren't strong enough. You weren't in that frame of mind, but I feel like it's turning that frame of mind around and saying, you know, being more determined. So death also represents transformation. It represents letting go of something, ending something, but it also represents beginning something. And heading this death card is heading right towards this justice card, which is making things happen for yourself. That if you want to have things happen, make it happen for yourself. Don't put that on someone else. Don't wait for someone else to do things for you because they may make them happen and they may they may let you down, you know? They but if you're in charge, then you feel more in control and you're saying, okay, it's it's all up to me, right? I'm going to either succeed or I'm going to fail. But if I fail, I'm going to learn a lesson from it and I'm going to shift things up and I'm going to move things in a different direction and I'm going to try something different. But I'm not going to let myself down. So I feel like, like that's that confidence. That's confidence. Confidence is knowing that it's going to work out and things are going to happen and, and to push through things. So let's grab a Whispers of Healing for this reading. Oh, I don't know the cards. Let's see. I feel like this one. Seek Seclusion. I feel like the Seek Seclusion is not this energy over here. I feel like seek seclusion is removing yourself from the situation and stepping away from that. Just like I was saying earlier is like go for, you know, hang out at your friend or your family's house or go for a ride or go for a drive. Seek seclusion where you can not have that chatter going on around you where you can have time to really think things through and figure things out and say, okay, this is what I need to do. This is my next step. This is what I got to focus on. So I feel like it's, it's sometimes when you're in the environment that you can't really find answers because you're in the environment and you have to step away from it. 
And I feel like that's what that card means there. That's what that card represents there. I'm going to grab um, one of these cards. We have remember you, re remember you are a gift. It's time to remind yourself of the light you bring to the world. Reflect on your good qualities. Note down some affirmations for the day. I love it. And that's what I was saying is, is what you're focusing on. And if you find that it's hard to find, to reflect on your good qualities, then that's, that's kind of your key right there of what you need to work on. And you should be able to come up really quickly with a lot of good things about yourself and all of your positive, you know, positive affirmations for yourself and saying positive things for yourself. That should come easily to you. That should come quickly to you. You shouldn't have to struggle with that. And if you struggle with that, then that's something that you need to work on. Of course, I'm not a doctor. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just saying from my own experience. So. Um, of course, you can do whatever you choose to do. I'm not telling you what to do, but <laughs> um, that is that is not your prescription. <laughs> but I, I'm just saying from, you know, it's those reminders of ourselves of saying, like, you can do this and you have so many positive qualities and you have so many good things about you. And to remind yourself of all of those good qualities that you have, that maybe over here you're kind of like, like, if you're struggling with knowing your worth, then you're obviously you're not telling yourself of all of these positive qualities of yourself. Oh, I have to <coughs> sneeze. Excuse me. All right. We have space. <laughs> that's kind of funny because that's what I was saying is I feel like the message here is that you need your space. You need your time. You need to sort things out within yourself. And when you give yourself that space and you give yourself that time and you work on these things and then that changes your mindset mindset is everything mindset is your mindset is failing or mindset is succeeding and and that's maybe what you have to check here and especially with the um, ace of cups here and then the queen of cups it's like your emotions and feelings that you feel towards yourself and when you can focus on that then that's what makes things feel easier and makes things happen for you. All right, I'm gonna grab a um, Oracle Tarot here. So we have emotional withdrawal. Again, I feel like all of the cards are saying the same thing. So this is the Eight of Cups. So I feel like it's take that time to yourself. Again, it's like repeating the same message. So I feel that this is a big message here for some for someone is take that time to yourself and really think about things and really think about, okay, am I telling myself I can succeed or am I telling myself that I'm not going to succeed? Am I telling myself that positive things are going to happen or negative things are going to happen? So again, with with especially with all of these three right here these are three different decks and that's why i like to use different decks is just it's three messages here is to have your space and and that's what you need to do and that's what's going to help you clear your mind um i don't feel like it's shutting down and closing everything off i feel like it's exploring your feelings and really figuring out what's going on within yourself let's grab a angel answers We have yes, so that's a positive affirmation there that yes, maybe you do need some time for yourself or yes, you know, you can make it happen. Let's grab a yes, like yes is, is a positive. I felt like this one right here, that one was kind of sticking out for me. We have moonstone, nurturing divine feminine intuitive. Drawing power from the divine feminine, Moonstone connects you to goddess energy, activating your intuition. Moonstone can boost clairvoyant gifts and metaphysical powers, asking that you trust the unknown beyond what you can see in this realm. The reflective nature of the crystal is much like the moon phases themselves, a cycle of change from new beginnings to full release. And I feel like that kind of represents the death card there. Moonstone balances masculine energy with the feminine touch, 
teaching the art of receptivity and serendipity. It is especially potent during the waxing moon. So I feel like it's it's that phase that you're going through, right? And it's letting go of things and then moving towards things. So I feel like this is maybe a, a like a cycle that you're going through and a phase that you're going through where you're seeing, okay, <clears throat> there are some things that I need to change here that they can't keep going the way that they are, that you need to know your worth and be comfortable in your own skin that, you know, and that you're going to make the right choices for yourself. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. It is greatly appreciated. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.